Chris, thanks for that update. New this afternoon, the battle over a piece of land in Spartanburg County continues. Neighbors in the Landrum area came together today to meet with county council members in the continued push against an approved RV park, citing concerns with safety and the well-being of their community. Fox Carolina's Carrie Weimer was at that meeting in Landrum this morning. She's live for us this afternoon. So, Carrie, what did you find out as far as all of this? Well, if you guys have ever been up here, this stretch of Landrum Mill Road is really beautiful. As you go down the road behind me here, there's horse pastures everywhere. Right here is a nice wooded area. And then you see these signs, signs that are opposing an RV park coming to this area right around me here. The people that we talked to today said they're not going to stop fighting it. On a two lane road not far from I-26 in Campobella, surrounded by horse country, sits over 38 acres of land that has nearby neighbors fighting to keep it just the way it is. No one is opposed to an RV park per se. We're opposed to the issues that it raises, where it is situated. A community meeting was held today at the depot in Landrum to give people a chance to speak to county council members about the plan to put an RV park on over 11 acres near I-26 on Landrum Mill Road in Campobello. As a new resident to the area with three kids that are 13 and younger. I have safety concerns. I have traffic concerns. Spartanburg County Council says Blue Sky Associates, a Spartanburg based developer, got conditional land use approval for plans to build the park from the Planning Commission back in March. I think they're going to have to address it because when a, a professional engineer comes in, evaluates the situation, and says this is adding danger to already dangerous roads. That's a problem. If there's a large truck, because of the current width of the road, they're over the center line and you have to be very careful. Spartanburg County Council told us today that the RV park meets land use ordinances and said for council to do anything outside of approving it would be illegal. It's a recipe for disaster. Uh, it's, it's not a question of if there will be an accident. I truly believe it's a question of when. The conditional terms of the approval say the park must get DHEC sewer and water from the local water district. Council confirmed today DHEC has already given approval for the septic tank system. We asked what opposing residents would need to do next. Council says they can appeal to circuit court. Well, I trust that the county council will review these facts and reverse their decision. Now we've reached out to Blue Sky Associates for comment. As of right now, we have not heard back from them, but we're going to stay on top of this and of course bring you any new information we find out. Back to you at the station.